sensation, the margins, uh, any inflammatory reactions, like that. And then we'll go for peripheral nerves involvement. In case of peripheral nerves involvement, first we have to look for supratrochlear and supraorbital. Okay? We have to look it like this. Just palpate for any enlargement. Here, medially, we'll have supratrochlear. Laterally, we'll have supraorbital. And then inferiorly, we'll, we have to look for infraorbital. Okay? And then here, we'll have zygomatic branch of facial nerve, which will, which will be involved if facial nerve is involved. So, we have to look at the zygomatic prominence. Okay. And then here we will see greater auricular which passes over the sternocleid or mastoid. It is better seen than felt. So if it is enlarged we can see it. If not you have to palpate. So here it is not that much enlarged. And then over clavicle we will find supraclavicular, intermediate clavicular, infraclavicular. Three nerves. So we have to same. Look for any enlargement. It is not there. And then for radial nerve, it will be in the radial group. You have to ask the person to flex at elbow and rest his hand on your hand. And then look for radial group here, uh, which will be at the point of deltoid insertion. And look for the any enlargement of the nerve. Usually radial nerve will not be that much involved in uh, leprosy. So we have to look for both sides. It's not that much enlarged here. Oh, sorry. And then ulnar nerve in medial epicondyle. Okay. You can see it, see. Did you, you can see it? Yeah. It will slip when you try to like, you know, touch it. This is enlarged one. When you when you are like uh, uh, palpating this, he is saying there is a tingling sensation over the fingers also. So it means that the nerve is involved on the both sides. Okay, it will be involved. And in radial cutaneous, we have to look for here. What the risk? Even here, it will be enlarged. Same. It's coming the tingling. Same tingling sensation. So this is radial cutaneous, here you look for ulnar, here you look for radial nerve. These are the major peripheral nerves we have to see. Usually median will also be involved where you have to look for, ask the patient to clench and look at the flexor retinaculum. If it is involved only, it will be enlarged. If not, it's not that easy to see for it. Okay. And then coming to lower leg uh, peripheral nerves, we have to see for common ferulean nerve which winds around the neck of fibula. So you have to stand in front of the patient, look for the neck of the fibula and just palpate it and roll it down to see if there is any enlargement. Here it is not there. Okay, this is common peroneal nerve. You have to ask. Ila petu, sai baba la kucho? Kal ne kal as. Kudur kada? Ah. Ah. Here, behind the medial malleolus, we will find anterior tibial nerve. Ah, posterior tibial nerve. Okay, we have to look for posterior tibial nerve here. And then in front, we can find dorsalis pedis, which goes into the great toe. Okay? Here, dorsalis pedis. And then in the lateral malleolus, we can find sural nerve, if it is enlarged. Sural nerve. These are the courses of the nerves that we have to look for lower extremities. These are sensory. Now, coming to motor part, we have to ask the patient. Pen test will be there. Opponent's test will be there. Abduction, adduction test will be there. So, we have to look for ulnar radial nerves. So you just have to ask the patient to close the fingers and then open it. If he can't do that, it means that ulnar nerve is enlarged. And you have to look for claw hand also. Na petu sariga petu, osuna. It's it's not involved. I mean, claw claw hand is not there for this person. If not, usually claw hand will be like this. Extended uh, flexed at MCP joints and extended at uh, proximal interphalangeal joints. Okay, this is claw hand. The other major complication is trophic ulcers. Because of the loss of sensation, they can't feel anything. And uh, it's very difficult to treat these patients. Usually, we have to put them in MDMTT, that is multi-bacillary, multi-drug therapy. It is divided into two types, posibacillary, multi-bacillary. Posibacillary means less than five lesions, only one nerve involvement. And the therapy is given for nine months, at least nine months, and he has to complete the treatment in six months without failure. 
and next one is multi bacillary where uh, more than five patches we'll see more than uh, one nerve will be involved and he has to be smear positive SSS should be positive and the treatment is uh, rifampicin, dapsone, and clofazimine clofazimine will be involved in multi bacillary but not in multi bacillary